so weird not being in my vocal booth to do this video. I will talk very loud so you can hear me. Hi, my name is Jania and welcome to Jania's Voice where I give tips and advice on voiceover, narration, and singing. If you like my videos, go ahead and subscribe, hit the notification bell, and also like the video so you can always refer back to it later. I do videos every Thursday. All right, let's get on into this video. This video is equipment that you'll need on your voiceover journey for your voiceover career and your narration career. Let's talk about microphones first. There was a video that I saw and one of the YouTubers, and I love YouTubers, okay? I love YouTube. I've been on YouTube since 2006. I love YouTube, but I don't like misleading information. So one of the um, YouTubers that I saw, she said to get a Zoom microphone. Um, and this is a Zoom, a Zoom handy recorder. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. This one is the H6. This is not the one that she had. She had one that was an older model. This right here runs about almost, about almost $350. Um, and then with all the attachments, it can run you a lot more. I would not suggest getting this for voiceover, for your voiceover career at all. If you do podcasts, which I do, I produce two different podcasts, you'd want to get something like this. Or if you're into filming, uh, filming movies or shorts or whatever, or do interviews, you'd want to get something like this. I would not recommend the Zoom for voiceover. It's nice for those other things that I mentioned, but not for voiceover. And like I said, it's very expensive. So if you're just starting out on voiceover, but if you want to do all those other things like podcasts and stuff, this is a good one. Let's go into uh, dynamic microphones first. Dynamic microphones pretty much cancel out a lot of the noise. You speak directly into a dynamic microphone and it picks up your voice. Um, it pretty much rejects sound any other sound that is not going directly into the mic. So you do have to speak close into the microphone. This right here is a Samson Q2U. This is a really good mic. This is, picks up a lot louder than the Audio Technica. This is the Audio Technica AT2005 USB microphone. This is a good microphone as well. This is also a dynamic mic. And this one, picks up a little softer than this one, than the Samson. These are both dynamic microphones. This one picks up louder, the Samson, and the Audio Technica picks up a little softer, but it is it is clear. You just have, would have to turn it up, uh, turn up the gain more when you're recording, but it's a very good microphone. The Samson, it was cheaper than the Audio Technica, but I tend to use the Samson a little bit more than I use the Audio Technica. And I use both of these mics primarily for singing. You can use them for voiceover though. You can use them for narration or voiceover. And I would say if you're, you live in a, a noisier area to pick up one of the dynamic microphones. However, sometimes when you're going into editing, uh, editing can be a little weird with these sounds. So you really have to play around with these sounds before you actually record and then going in, into editing, um, play around with your editing settings. Okay, so those are the dynamic mics. Let's go to the Blue Yeti. The Blue Yeti. This was the first microphone that I purchased. I got this microphone back in 2014. I mentioned I had done voiceover for a very, very long time. Then I got out of voiceover because I just went into singing, primarily went into singing and I I didn't really record, I'd go to the studio, I'd have, you know, other engineers would record me, and producers would record me, whatever. So I didn't have my own uh, recording equipment. Once I decided to get back into voiceover and I saw how it was a lot easier <laughs> nowadays, than when I bought it, this microphone was about $115 altogether. And uh, that was back in 2014. Now, this microphone is a whole lot more. They are going crazy on Amazon. I would suggest that you do not buy this microphone on Amazon. I would suggest that you buy this microphone, if you're going to buy it, on bluemicrophones.com. I think that's what it's called. But I'll put the link in the 
in the box below. It's a really good mic. I love it so much. I'm having a little bit of issues with it now because I've used it so much. I've used it not only for my voiceover, my narration, and my singing, but I also do a podcast with it. So um, I've used it so much that I've kind of worn out the bottom. And um, I ordered an, another Blue Yeti, so that's on its way. It should be here in a couple of weeks. They are back ordered right now, so but I would suggest you go to Blue, go directly to Blue and buy this. Don't buy this on Amazon. The sellers are going crazy. They're they're really marking it to like three hundred dollars. Don't do that. Yeah, this is my first microphone for voiceover. This also picks up a lot of noise. This, uh, it's a great sound, but it picks up everything, and so. I normally will have two foam windshields on here. I will have two on this microphone. I just took it off for this video, but I have another one, and then I also use the popper stopper. This is a Blue Yeti, and it's a great mic. This here is the Blue Raspberry. This is my travel microphone. Um, I also sing a lot with this microphone. It's really good. It's more expensive than the Blue Yeti. This one is about uh, just under $300, but I needed a travel mic. It's a it's a great sound. This one does need its little windshield all the time. So this picks up everything. It's not like the dynamic mics where it, it cancels out noise and things. This doesn't do that. So yeah, this is Blue Raspberry. Now, all of these microphones that I just showed you, the dynamic mics, these two dynamic mics, the Audio-Technica and the Samson, the uh, Blue Raspberry and the Blue Yeti, these are all USB microphones. That means that you can plug them up into your computer, right into your device. If you have, like right here, you can plug it right into your computer or anything like that, but if you wanna plug it into an iPad or an iPhone or whatever, you just, you need an adapter, this little, lightning you need to get one of these adapters and you plug it on there and this one is old i've had it for a long time but you plug that in there and then you just go ahead and plug it into your ipad your iphone whatever but all these are uh usb microphones i really do recommend usb microphones both of these the dynamics like i said they're under 100 bucks the blue yeti is going to cost you just under about $145 if you go right to their website. And uh, the Blue Raspberry is going to cost you under, under $300. But I'll put the links in the description. Now let's get to the microphone I just got. I actually bought two of these. This is the SM58 by Shure. I grew up with Shure microphones. My mother's a singer, I'm a singer. I have two other sisters, they're singers. I have a niece, she's a singer. We've all used Shure microphones. Uh, these are wonderful microphones. They last for a very, very long time. However, this is not a USB microphone. So you can use the Zoom, not for voiceover though. <laughs> you can, but it's just so much more complicated if you do this. this I wanna get you guys to get right on into your voiceover career and this is just starting out type stuff but yeah you can use this and plug it in here uh, but otherwise you need some type of an interface to use this microphone but this microphone gets I told you I just got it I have I bought two of them <laughs> it's so pretty this is a also a dynamic microphone this is a wonderful 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 microphone very clear sound this this microphone is a little over a hundred bucks altogether so it's really good very good sound it's it's got some weight to it very good sound nothing's heavier than that blue yeti though very very good sound um if you can get something like this and you have a nice interface you can plug it up then go ahead but i would say if you're just starting out even though this is great price get one of the usb microphones It'll make it a lot easier for you. And then later on, if you still like to do voiceover and narration and things, get a microphone like this. Also, what you're gonna need for these microphones, you're going to need popper stoppers, you're gonna need windshields, um, these foam windshields. You are going to need these on any microphone that you get. They are not sold with the microphone, you gotta buy them separately. You're also gonna need these little popper stoppers. Uh, this is specially made for this little 
this little one. But most, most popper stoppers <laughs> look like this. This is a popper stopper that you're going to need as well. It's about 10 bucks, between 10, $20, depending on which one you get. Uh, it's really, really great. I suggest you get one of these. Also, you're gonna need headphones. The great thing with these USB microphones is that you can plug your headphones right into the microphone. You plug the microphone into your device, I would say your iPad or your laptop, and then there you go. You can listen to the sound and it's, it's perfect. Uh, you don't need to, to plug it into the device or anything like that, especially when a lot of these devices are not having any more headphone jacks. So that's great. Get the USB microphone, get the headphones, plug it directly into your microphone. Let's talk about mic stands really quick. Say you don't get the Blue Yeti. If you don't get the Blue Yeti, you're gonna need a stand. You can get a microphone stand here. <laughs> I'm not about to pick this up. <laughs> it's heavy. <laughs> Microphone stand here. You see that right there? You see that? Okay, so you, you're gonna need a microphone stand like that. Or you can get, this is a microphone arm that you can get and you pretty much, you can uh, clip it onto the table and then it'll come down to you. It's like a boom arm and it'll come down to you. I'll put a little video up so you can see it because I know I look crazy trying to show you <laughs> how to do this. I don't know what they told you about me All I can do is show you Do you wanna see? I don't know what they told you about me All I can do is show you do you, you can get this too, okay? And you can just clip it onto your desk or or a table or whatever and, and set your microphone up. You can also use stands. Now, Samson provided this little mic stand for the microphone. Also, so did Audio Technica. They also provided this little stand for the microphone. As you can see, the Blue has one and the Raspberry has one. But if you kind of want hands-free, I like this, I like the microphone arm because it, it kind of gets the mic out of your face, kind of. It'll get the microphone out of your face and you can go ahead and read your script or your book and it kind of gets it out of the way. That's pretty much it for the microphones. So let's go ahead and move on to your devices. Okay, let's talk about your devices. What I use is an iPad or you can use a laptop. I prefer to record on an iPad. It's just quicker, it's easier. My vocal booth is not super small but it's not huge so the book that i'm reading i like for it to be bright it's very quiet it's very easy to just skim up through the pages i love working on an ipad so the first setup i had i had microphone i had an ipad and i had a porta booth but we'll get to the porta booth so yeah i would recommend to get an ipad this ipad was very inexpensive you can get a refurbished ipad if you want to or a tablet you know whatever whatever's clever <laughs> but uh yeah you can get a refurbished ipad also like i said you you're gonna need earphones really good earphones that do not delay so the best earphones that do not delay are the ones that you plug right into the device so earphones so that you can hear what you're editing you can hear the breaths that you're taking you can hear the background noise you need to hear everything because once you send that audiobook to acx they're listening for everything so all the background noise so you have to make sure you hear that before they do so you can fix it and also for your any voiceover things that you do and singing too but singing eh, you have music it can kind of cover it up also you need some good speakers. These speakers right here, these are Bluetooth speakers. They are normally sold separately. I bought two of them. They connected with each other and now they give me beautifulness. The problem with these, there's a slight delay when, when I use these. So I have to do all of my editing with my earphones. After that, then I go ahead and I, I play it back on my speakers loud. Jania, and here's my new song with the Perry Twins, Impulse. Impulse is beating all night. So hey, it's Jania. 
Up next is Impulse, my new song with the Perry Twins. And now, here's Impulse from the Perry Twins featuring me, Jania. And now, here's Impulse, <laughs> okay. a new song from the Perry Twins. Okay, I'm a singer. I did promo drops, promotional drops for uh, radio stations. But um, I did that on Twisted Wave, and I like to listen to it back on my speakers, and I like to listen to it like in stereo. Uh, so just you can hear that clean sound. So you're going to need iPad, microphone, and speakers, and headphones. I have all this information down below. Let's get into software that you might want to use that you have to record into. Adobe Audition, people use um, Audacity. There's just a lot of different programs you can use. I don't know about all of the other. I used Audacity for a little bit, but and from and, and Audacity is free. The software I like to use for voiceover and for narration is called Twisted Wave. This is Twisted Wave. <laughs> really hard to see. I've been using Twisted Wave for about since since 2015. Actually, since 2014. I find that it's very easy to use. You can edit pretty much anything with your hand or your finger and all that stuff. It's good for voiceover. It's good for narration. The pros with using Twisted Wave is you can record on your iPad. You can record on your phone, although I don't recommend recording on your phone unless you have a quick have to do a quick audition. Then you would use your microphone to record in the, into the phone. Do not use your voice memo to record in an audition unless you let them know that that's all you have at the moment. And if they say cool, then do it. Otherwise, do not use your voice memo to record auditions or anything, okay? Always record into a good microphone for auditions and also for your any type of uh, bookings that you get. You can use Twisted Wave for your iPad, your phone, and you can also use it on your laptop. They have a different version for your laptop. Twisted Wave will run you about, I think, 20 bucks if it's on your Apple iPad or anything. I only use Apple stuff, so sorry. If you don't use that, I'm sure you can find it in the different, in whatever you use. If you use it for your laptop, I think it's, I think it's about a hundred bucks or it could be a little less. I'll put that all in the description. <laughs> the cons that I find about Twisted Wave is if you get Twisted Wave on your iPad, which is wonderful, it's, it's really great. I, I've done all of my books on my iPad. Ignore that. <laughs> I'm not in my vocal booth right now. I've done all of my audiobooks on my iPad. It's wonderful recording your audiobooks on your iPad. It's great with Twisted Wave. But the only problem is you will have to take all of your files send it to customer service at Twisted Wave where they will reformat your files for you. Then they send you back your files. Then you upload your files to ACX and that's the only way ACX will accept them if you're doing an audiobook. That's something to remember if you're using Twisted Wave on your iPad. But if you're using Twisted Wave on the MacBook or on your laptop or your computer or whatever, then you can reformat and do all that stuff in the MacBook. ACX changed their rules. That's why Twisted Wave doesn't have it for the iPad or the iPhone. Okay, so that's the program I use for all of my audiobooks and for all of my voiceover, really. If you can get it in MP3 format, WAV format, whatever. This does all of that. Twisted Wave does all of it. I really do like Twisted Wave. I'm gonna do another video to show you kind of how I use Twisted Wave because I did have a problem uh, the first time I used Twisted Wave and I lost a whole book and it was devastating and I had to re redo the whole book, the whole audio book. But I lived through that. I learned from that. Now I'm better. Okay, now let's talk about sound absorption and all the stuff that you're going to need to also uh, record. So like I said before in a previous video, I live next to a freeway, a highway, right there. <laughs> and there's a big wall and then there's the freeway and so it's just not the best when it's when I'm recording 
Also, if you can hear this, that is my refrigerator. <laughs> it's not the best sound. So I need a lot of noise cancellation. When I first embarked on my voiceover journey again, I needed a microphone. I ended up getting a iPad mini. And I also got this. This is this is a portable right here. Um, I'm gonna take it out and I'm gonna set it up for you to show you what it is. Basically, how I got this was there was a guy who was watching YouTube videos and he decided he wanted to get into voiceover and he spent so much money. I think this was about $300. He spent so much money on his setup and everything, and then he realized voiceover was kind of hard and it wasn't as easy as people were saying that it was, and he ended up selling all of his equipment. I already had a microphone and, and all the other stuff that I needed. I just needed a porta booth. So he, I got this for $75, okay? He only used it like three times. Huh. But on Amazon, it's, it's a little more than that. I'll leave, I'll leave it below. Another great thing about this Porta Booth, this is a Porta Booth Plus. This case is amazing. You can put that Blue Yeti, that huge microphone, right here in this pocket. It com completely fits it. You can put your other things in this other pocket. They have another pocket here. And this is kind of where I, I would do my setup. I would put my laptop here and just set it up. This is a really great pouch. So I'm gonna get up and I'm gonna I'm gonna set this up for you guys. Can you give me two seconds? I'll be right back. I'll set it up. The only reason why I deal with you, cause you're my favorite mistake. And I just wanna keep it real with you. I wanna see just how much you can take when I move my body, shake my body, drop it down low, twist it up slow. It has all of this noise noise cancellation on the inside and basically I would just put my microphone in here I put my iPad in here it's really really great if you're traveling to take this with you this was the first noise cancellation that I had it worked well but because I had a lot of noise to battle didn't work well enough and I had to build a vocal booth and I was very reluctant to build one but this did work this works amazing when I travel with it because most places are not as loud as where I live so this works amazing when I travel if I'm in a hotel room or you know I'm, I'm anywhere else Airbnb or whatever it, this works great I will show you what my setup looked like prior to me building my vocal booth it looked a lot different than it looks <laughs> now but this Porta Booth really did help me. I will put the link, the Amazon link down so you guys can go check it out for yourself. This is a little expensive. I'll do a video if you want. If you guys want me to do a video to show you kind of how to take a box and you know do the same effect with the box, I can I can show you how to do that. Otherwise, they have other inexpensive ones on Amazon as well, but they're not the quality is not as good. That's my Porta Booth. So really quick about my vocal booth, since I knew that the porta booth was not going to be enough noise cancellation for me to do the jobs that I was getting booked on, I looked into getting a vocal booth, a whisper room, any, any vocal booth, and they were all out of my budget, <laughs> way out of my budget. So I... I was like, wow, I am going to have to build a vocal booth. And I looked a bunch of videos up, I, I Googled, and I just didn't find anything that I, I liked that was going to work for me. I needed an enclosed space. And also, I'm a singer, so I come from singing in vocal booths. So what I did was I built my own. Here's a video of when I had just finished building 
my vocal booth and I was super excited. Vocal booth that I built, it took me four days. Here's the inside. I built everything, even the stool. Alone, nobody helped me. And the entire time, I watch what's happening. So yeah, that was my vocal booth. So I'm gonna finish the rest of this video in my vocal booth. So now we're in the vocal booth and you can hear the sound. It sounds so much quieter in here. Uh, the noise cancellation is really good in here. I would say if you're just starting out on your voiceover narration journey, especially if you're working with ACX, then to start off really basic, a USB microphone, it could be a dynamic mic, it could be a, a Blue Yeti a condenser mic, it doesn't matter. You have to get it according to the noise level that's in your house that's around you. This vocal booth, it cost me under $700 because I built everything. The most expensive thing was the foam. The foam costs a lot. But everything else, I got I got everything on sale, okay? I am frugal, I am frugal. -a. All you really need is a microphone, an iPad, or a, some type of a device where you can record and plug that microphone in, and a porta booth or a, a noise cancellation. That's all you need. And then, of course, you're going to need training. We'll talk about that later. But this is just all the equipment that you'll need to just get started. As you get better and as and if you see that you're like, oh, I really like doing this, then you start getting in all the other stuff, you know, zooms and and building vocal booths and all that stuff. Once you know that something that you really love and you're going to really get into it, then get all the rest of the stuff. Other than that, keep it simple and go for it <laughs> thank you so much for watching thanks for hanging out with me i know this was kind of a long video but i wanted to show you i wanted to show you guys what you could get i want to really help if you have any questions please ask me any questions that you might have and i will see you next thursday bye <laughs> bye you'll be Truly happy with little old me. I am frugal.